now that we are done reviewing the homework, the exercise, we're gonna see something else. We saw, so far, the vowels. We saw the O vowels, we saw the nasal vowels, right? So now what we're gonna see is what we call in Haitian Creole, in the Haitian alphabet, semi-vowels. Semi-vowels are consonant vowels. Now why? It's because, to be honest with you, you know, you know them, a couple of them, not all of them. You know two of them as a consonant in English. We also know them as consonant in French. But in Haitian Creole, they don't qualify as consonant. We're going to see why. That's why we call them semi-vowel or consonant vowels. Now, what are they? They are this sign that you know as Y in English. This sign that you know as W in English. And this one has two signs. The first one you know it as U in English and the second is I. But in Creole, it's one letter. One letter because it has one sound. Even if it has two signs, if it gives one sound in Creole, it's one letter, not two. Let me repeat that. Even if it has two signs, if it is one sound, it's considered one letter, all right? That's why we have this, and we're gonna go back to this. We're gonna keep going back to them until you master it. There are two signs, but it's one sound. This is one sound, uh, one sound, uh, one sound, eh, one sound, ooh. You cannot separate the sound. It's one sound, uh, uh, eh, ooh. One sound, one letter. In reality, scientifically speaking, in reality, each letter should be one sound. Linguistically speaking, each letter should be just one sound, no more. All right? So that's why in Creole, if you're one sound, you're one letter. All right? That's good. Now, semi vowels. Semi vowels. How do I pronounce that? How do I pronounce that? How do I pronounce that? This is a year. A Semi vowel year. Semi vowel wo. Semi vowel year. Semi vowel wo. We call the letter by the sound it makes. All right. Semi vowel year. Semi vowel wo. Now semi vowel year. Year. Now this one here gonna give me letters like. Kai, here it is, Kai, 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 Kai is house, Kai, and Portai, here it is, Portai, that's the semi vowel, uh, another word, we're gonna use Kai, Kai, still a uh, it's a, I, E, Kaye, Kaye. That's that semi vowel. Semi vowel here. Now, this one, semi vowel, wo, wo, wo. Here it is. Wo, wo is tire in English. Wo, it's wo, u, wo, u. If you want to separate it, separate the sound. It's two sounds. Oh, oh. Semi vowel. That's a semi vowel right there. Semi vowel. Oh. Woy. If I say woy, it's a kind of an exclamation thing. Woy. It doesn't really mean something. It's a, it's a noise in Haitian Creole. Right? Uh, that's it. That's the sound. Oh. Oi. Woy. Right? That's three sounds. Oh. Oh. Woy. That's semi vowels. Oh. All right. And we also use that semi vowel as a short for the pronoun U. Remember, we said U is also it's a vowel, it's also a pronoun, just like in English. I is a vowel, it's also a pronoun in English, right? So it's U is a vowel, but it's also a pronoun. Sometimes they use this as short for U. For instance, if I'm speaking Creole and, and I say, Sa se pao. Let me write this down. Sa 
Si Pau. It's technically it is Sasi Pau, but we use this as a pronoun to replace this. Sasi Pau. When we say Sasi Pau, Sa Si Pau. Now let's go to our third semi vowels. So now, if I want to say you eat, you eat. You eat. That's our semi vowels. You eat. You eat. You eat. If I want to say you eat, you eat is eight in English. Letter eight. Now, if I want to say you eat, you eat. That's our semi vowels. You eat is cooked or cook. What I want you to do, let's go and pronounce everything we've learned so far. We've just seen the three semi-vowels, i, u, u, i. All right, i, we find it in kai, portai, kaie, u, and letters like wu, woi. Okay, so now let's review all the vowels and semi-vowels, all the letters we have learned so far. And I want you to pronounce with me, okay? You pronounce after me. And you're looking at them right there with you pronouncing the letters learned so far. You're looking at it in your PowerPoint. Let's repeat after me, please. And I want you to master this. I want you to know it. Keep practicing on your own. Spend some time on it. It is important, right? If you master this, it's helping you with your pronunciation. Because wherever you see them, they're going to be pronounced the same way. That's the important thing, right? After me, please. Let's go. Anali. Anali, 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 anali. That means let's go. It's um a, e, e, o, e, o, u, a, e, o, i, u, u. If you try to pronounce the word, you eat, you eat, you eat, you eat, you eat. You will get it. That's what we've learned so far. And here's what I want you to do. I want you to pronounce them out loud. Pronounce them out loud. Now find a Haitian friend and pronounce them and then ask them. I'm gonna be honest with you here. Most of Haitians you're gonna you're gonna meet, they might not know this. They speak Creole, but most of them don't know how to write Creole. So they might not know this, but if you say it wrong, they will be able to tell you. You will ask them, do I say that right? Ah a E O E O U A E O. If they don't know Creole, they don't know the alphabet, they wouldn't know that. But anyway, as we're going further, you will be able to master that, and then that's going to be very easy for you, just like it is for me now.